I had to finish Kushi and I had, I had to shoot for Citadel, which yeah. is extremely physical. There's a lot of action involved, uh, so it was very um, strenuous. Uh, many many calls were made to you in the middle of shoot. Yeah. Okay, so what to do? <laughs> she's yeah. she's having a spasm. She's cramping. I remember this one particular incident where you had to give like an action sequence. Oh God! <laughs> and I passed out. And you had a head concussion. I had a concussion. Yeah. <laughs> and the person who was training you there, he was not very helpful in dealing <laughs> relaying the information. Oh God, those were crazy times. Okay, so now that we have discussed about all the technical aspects and understood what autoimmunity is, I think uh, people will find immense value in understanding what your experience uh, with regard to the autoimmune disorder that you are going through has been. Uh, because I believe there are many people who are on the same boat and uh, hearing out your story and knowing what all you have gone through, what all you have done, and how is it now mm-hmm. is going to be of immense value of them and they're going to draw a lot of strength from it. Well, I hope this is helpful. Um, I think when I first heard about the diagnosis, it was hard, uh, both yeah. both mentally and physically it was hard because my goals, I had big goals and you know, uh, I had, I'm a go-getter. Uh, I fix on a goal and I just do everything in my capacity to to make sure I achieve that goal. So um, this was a pause yeah. and I refused to actually uh, accept it. I c- kept telling my, uh, I remember I was shooting at that point of time, I was filming and I kept telling them, I'm coming back in a week. Uh, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm coming back in a week, I, you know, and I assumed like any other condition, you take pills uh, for a week and then you're better and then you go back to work, right? Like, yeah. I come on. Yeah. Uh, th- I have never heard about this uh, from anyone I know. Yeah. Nobody, it's not in my genes. So nobody I know has gone, experienced this. And mm. um, I refuse to believe it. I kept telling uh, them that I'm coming back in a week and just, okay, it's not getting better this week, maybe next week. So it was hard. Uh, to really accept it at first and then the question that I kept asking myself was why me Uh, because I've really been good and sincere with everything I do it just didn't seem fair right so I think that most people will ask them ask that question as why me yeah uh, and then that question slowly transitioned to a feeling of guilt. And this really stuck with me for a while. Did I not do enough? Uh, did I not prioritize myself and my health? And I always put work, career, uh, external goals, mm, relationships before my health and myself. So that was, that was a difficult period where it was just extreme guilt that I didn't do enough to look after myself. But after having been on this journey, okay, so now it's, this June it will be two years. (laughs) Gosh, I can't even believe I survived two years. Okay, Okay, one and a half years. Um, That uh, I have a lot more mental clarity now. Mm. Uh, You know, I do believe honestly that the universe presents us with roadblocks to redirect us to the path that was meant for us. And sometimes the bigger the roadblocks, the bigger the sense of purpose. And for anyone who's going through a really difficult situation, whether it is in their, uh, with their health or their personal life, I would say from my experience that days can get really dark. Mm. You can reach a really dark place in your life but I promise you that there's light at the end of the tunnel um, so just hang in there I know it's difficult I know that's not what you want to hear um, you know people around me did not did not know what to tell me yeah. because you can comfort someone for a month or two but how do you comfort someone for one and a half years right yeah, yeah. Uh, so it, it 
it gets and it almost they knew that every time they ask me how are you i'm like mm. <laughs> <laughs> how are you means what yeah. <laughs> like yeah so uh, but it it has taught me a lot uh, um, the mental space that i am in is very very different from where i started out yeah yeah uh thank you for sharing that sam and i'm really glad that you were able to reframe your perspective and look at the positive side of it and i know a disorder like this can get really tough at times and uh, once the realization set in and once you realize you know this is what it is and we have to do something about it uh what were our initial steps that we took in order to combat this situation how did it look like from a medical perspective and how you have to take care of yourself and what did your day to day back then look like uh very initially i it was just a lot of medication yeah a lot of steroids ivig every month the works i went through the traditional medicine route for a year mm. um heavy dose medications um but i realized that after a year i wasn't feeling much better mm. i know I, this is again disclaimer uh the traditional medicine route has worked wonders for many many people i am uh, this is just my personal experience and it is um not medical advice of any sort if you value my perception then please you you know you go ahead and research further into the subject and develop a deeper understanding and please do not take any actionable steps uh without consulting a wellness professional uh so i would like to say that because yeah so after one year of the traditional medicine route i wasn't feeling much better and uh, again it it's just like hit like a road block and um it i felt quite hopeless because uh i felt like okay it it almost hit me like am i going to live with this forever yeah um but uh, then i'm the fighting kind yeah true <laughs> i'm the fighting kind yeah. um if like i said before if i have a purpose and if i want to if i have a goal and if i have to achieve it i will put all my energy all my time into finding a solution for that problem and achieving that goal so i think it was time for me to uh, reestablish goals yeah. and uh, focus on health and i knew that it was going to take time i then i understood that this was going to take time and it involved yeah. me putting all my effort and time into trying to go get go into remission yeah um so yeah of uh, their taking a break wasn't really easy yeah. because i worked for 13 years yeah. without a break um i've had five films released in a year i think at one point of time wow. <laughs> so yeah. taking a break uh, wasn't really an easy choice to make but yeah. in hindsight it was the best decision that i did and i remember telling you that i'm going to take a break and you were yeah. extremely happy to hear that yeah yeah i'm i'm happy i i took the break because it has helped me tremendously yeah yeah i still remember the conversation we had on the phone call and you were like you know i'm taking a break for a year i'm not going to work and i'm going to dedicate this entire time to getting my health back on track a i was really impressed back then and i thought like you were the one of the bravest person that i have known because there is a lot to put at stake especially with yeah, the yeah like you said the public defines success as as external achievements right yeah and yeah. um i probably defined my success in the same way yeah yeah and for you a lot of the things were at stake what a lot more than what it would be for a regular individual but when i heard that choice of yours i was really happy and i instinctively knew this was the right way to go about it and i was very much certain that the decision that you have taken this is going to even though you might not be 100% on board right right now with that but this is something and i'm saying that it's there are hard days even now uh, yeah. i'm not saying that everything has magically i have mag magically evolved into the best version of myself mm. no that's not true yeah. i still ha struggle i still have bad days um i still have flare ups uh, i still struggle with them but 
I'm a lot more relaxed and I have a lot more mental clarity and I'm able to handle situations in a much more calmer and um, healthy way. So once you decided to take that break and you alter <laughs> I altered a lot of things, yeah. Uh, we took in order to reach to the place where we are at right now. What does the other way of approaching the remission look like for for you and how was that entire experience like? I believe just starting with one one practice is just a step in the right direction and mm. I ha I feel a lot more better going the functional route than I did taking all of those steroids and yeah. uh, also I had to shoot at that point of time so it was a lot of stress on my body on yeah. my mind as, yeah. as well just being in feeling in a, that I'm in a safe space to yeah. heal has helped my healing a lot yeah I remember the times when you had uh, difficulties for a lack of better term while yeah. shooting and yeah that was a really stressful time to witness from a third person's perspective yeah, I can remember? hardly imagine <laughs> what it could be being in that position and going 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 through it yeah, I remember that. Um, I it's it's. <laughs> I had to shoot for the. Um, I had to finish Kushi and I had to finish. I, I had to shoot for Citadel, which yeah. is extremely physical. There's a lot of action involved. Yeah. Uh, there's a a lot of um, and and my directors are some uh, are people who like single long shots <laughs> and they don't like cuts. Yeah. So it was very um, strenuous. Yeah. And I was on a lot of medication, and yeah. I, I really no, I really didn't think that I could uh, complete shooting for these projects. Yeah. But in now, I'm so happy that I have, and I'm really looking forward to the release of Citadel yeah. because I just it for me it's already a victory because yeah. uh, I think we know what it went what it meant to actually complete a <laughs> shooting <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. for that. Um, yeah. Uh, many many calls were made to you in the middle of shoot. Yeah. I'll guess what to do. <laughs> she's yeah. she's having a spasm. She's cramping. She's uh, so I think that um, it was difficult, but I feel very proud. Yeah, and you uh, should be. Yeah. yeah, and I think that 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 everyone who's going through something uh, with their health should very should feel very very proud of themselves for just making it through the day. Yeah. Right, because it's not easy, and you're doing a wonderful job. Yeah, we are talking about phone calls. <laughs> I remember this one particular incident where you had to give like an action sequence. Oh God! <laughs> and I passed out. And you had a head concussion. I had a concussion. Yeah. <laughs> and the person who was training you there, he was not very helpful in relaying <laughs> relaying the information. Oh God, those were crazy times. Yes. Uh, and also during this time, you traveled and explored a lot. Yeah. So how how is that experience been? Like, what are the places that you have been to? What are the things that you have learned? Yeah, it's so amazing that you know um, to just be able to go to all of the places that you dreamed of as a child. I really wanted to go to Austria to uh, to uh, visit the place where Sound of Music was shot. That was like a childhood mm. dream, and I got to do that. Yeah. Uh, I think that I have um, altered a little my definition of success. Mm. Uh, my definition of success was blockbuster after blockbuster. Blockbuster, I want a bigger blockbuster. I want a bigger blockbuster. Yeah. It was, and then I, I, I don't even know what that meant, <laughs> to be honest. What does yeah. that even mean? Yeah. Um, so I think that my definition of success is, has changed a little after this experience hmm. and uh, in a good way yeah <laughs> yeah really uh, nice to know that and now we have taken the journey uh, now we are where we are how uh, what is the one thing or two things that you would think you would do differently now and you would uh, tell the audiences is your most valuable takeaway and something that they should incorporate in in their life um, I think that for a very long time, 
even as a child i have been very hard on myself okay i have had very high expectations of myself and nothing i did was ever good enough mm. uh my zeal and my um motivation came from a place that wasn't really positive hmm. my motivation and uh came from a space that was from fear yeah. fear of not being good enough fear of failure fear it was just it op- i operated from a space of fear hmm. and i i do believe that a lot of us operate from that space of fear just yeah. f- the fear of failure the fear of not being good enough and uh when there was success there was the fear of it going of of losing it mm. and there were and automatically the dopamine uh, the dopamine hit from the the success was not enough the baseline increased so you wanted something bigger and something better because you were you weren't really fixing uh, because i wasn't really fixing the actual um problem that stop operating from fear Hmm. Um so I think that that is something that all of us can fix. For example, how I fixed that was uh when I wake up every day is when I'm most anxious. Right? Yeah. Uh and during this phase I would wake up at 3 a.m. Uh, at and then slowly at 2 a.m. at 1 a.m. and it was really sad because my, my I had I would di- make distress calls to my friends and be like I can't sleep I'm scared I'm scared the anxiety was at an all time high now uh how I fixed this was the moment I wake up I start writing a journal of gratitude Mm. like i as immediately as soon as i wake up from my bed i take i start writing okay i, I do it digitally on uh, on an app which is not really a great thing i would uh, if if someone wants to try this i would advise using a paper and pen but i would start writing today i i might not feel like my body might not feel great but i i respect the that feeling and i am happy that my body will look after itself will heal you know i just started writing f- positive affirmations yeah and i realized that when i start writing it the anxiety is high but somehow when i end that journal there's a lot less anxiety yeah and practicing this every day has reduced to a great extent that morning anxiety for me. Yeah. Yeah, so uh this is something that people you, anyone can try and if 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 you are someone who gets stressed in the morning about the day about your life about work this is something that you can practice. That's why you ask for two things is it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. uh another thing that I have learned is patience. Mm. Is patience. Yeah. because we are so conditioned to getting an instant hit instant rush instant everything is instant yeah um and so i've really taught myself to be patient yeah and i think with that came a lot of resilience hmm um uh, i'm more resilient than i have i have ever been uh the dependency on out other people and other devices like to help me or calm me down or make me happy has almost diminished mm. my friends do ask me you don't call us any uh, you know you, you don't stress call or you you don't uh, speak about your inflammation or pain uh, that much anymore mm. is somehow because suddenly that i have the answers and i can deal with it yeah and if you make yourself your best friend mm. somehow you really become quite resilient yeah and i think that resilience is something that is going to really stick with me f- for a while yeah and i i think i've transformed into another person with this resilience yeah so in 
in a way you feel that you are more self reliant and complete as a person now right than what you were before and another really important point uh, that you mentioned was that you didn't celebrate your wins yes back then right and you celebrate your wins much much more now yes yeah. i i don't think i would ever have made a statement that said i am proud of myself you would you can see oh. any interview you can you can hear me speak anywhere it's available online you will never yeah. hear me say i am proud of myself you will always hear me give credit for my success to other people yeah. to uh, to other events to yeah. things around situations around me i have never given myself credit for anything yeah and i think that all of us should be very very proud of ourselves yeah. because if you are not proud of yourself why do you expect others to feel that about yeah. you right that's very true yeah yeah so whatever you want others to feel about you you start feeling it first yourself hmm yeah i feel like a shrink right now yeah. <laughs> why are you making me a shrink yeah. <laughs> 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 no no these these all are valuable insights and what you ended this statement with that's also the law of universe if you want to receive something right you should feel that you are deserving enough to receive that first right. until you do not feel that you are never going to receive it um uh, and just because you're not receiving it you will feel that you are not deserving right and the cycle is keeps cycle. going on yeah yeah so thank you for sharing all of those those were amazing insights and i'm pretty sure that all the people who are finding themselves in the same boat as you are or you were would derive immense value from this and uh having a companion uh along with them in this journey somehow uh, alleviates you from the situation that you are in and i think this conversation is going to do the exact same thing for them them too thank you and with this we end the topic on autoimmunity thank you alkesh for your valuable okay. insights i hope this was helpful to you and i hope you guys can make little changes in your everyday life and um well we also would like to hear what you thought about it and um please be kind in the comments we will be reading and um any topics that you want to discuss you want us to discuss uh, it would that would be helpful as well uh, looking forward to more interesting topics and uh, sharing and learning yeah.